Okay, welcome everyone. As we wait for the Eilam to arrive, we're going to do the Mishni Eilamis first. Uh, so we're learning Mishnah Gimel and Mishnah Dalit in uh, the second parak of Rosh Hashanah, uh, sponsored by uh, the Fisher family, Lila Nishmas Basi Bas Robert, uh, Shlomo Ben Avram Alevi, and Peril Bas Ruvain, that the Neshama should have an Aliyah. Also, for Shleim Feli Yomesh Mechai Yisarev, Lila Nishmas Chasi Bas Shlomo, and for the Schus of Avram Ben Yom and Benish Ben Malk Yehudis and family, by Yol Klugman and family, for Shleim for Avigdor Arye Ben Rivka. So, uh, we're up to Mishnah Gimel in the second parak of Rosh Hashanah. We said that initially, if they declared, and it's how appropriate for Rosh Chodesh, if the new moon was declared on the 30th day, so then they would go up on the mountaintops and light fires. Now, what was the process that they did? Ketzad how did they light these fires? They brought long poles of cedar, and then and to use as fuel, they would have reeds and balls of wood and kernels of flax. These were highly combustible. And they tie it with a cord around the top of the large cedar pole. Uh, they went up to the top of the mountain. They would light a fire. And then they would go with it side to side. Excuse me. Yeah. And up and down. Until this one who was like the flag man saw that at the next mountain he already lit a pole and was waving it, so he knew that he passed on the message to the next station. And the person kept on waving it on the second mountaintop until they started waving on the third mountaintop. Now, and from where did they uh, light these fires? In other words, give us the idea how the mountaintops got the message all the way to Bavel. So Mehara Mishcha, they, they lit it on the Mount of Olives, which was a very, very high point to the east of Yerushalayim. And there it reached the mountaintop at Sartova. And then Umi Sartova Legroifina, from Sartova they waved the fire until the uh, flagman uh, started waving a fire at the top of Grofina. Umi Grofina Lechavram and Grofina uh, he waited until they started waving poles of fire at Mount Chavron, or may Chavron the base Balton, and from Chavron they waited until the next mountaintop, which was at base Balton, started waving a fire. Or may base Balton, and the person that was waving the fire on the top of the mountain in base Balton didn't budge from there. And the Mighty went back and forth and up and down until. This was close already to Pompadisa in Bavel. What happened was, is when they saw it in Bavel, everybody went to their rooftop and waved the fire until it looked like the entire diaspora was in a blaze. And they got the message out when Reish Chodesh was. Okay, this was the Mishnah Yomis for Tuesday, and we are... Uh, uh, about to learn the Dafayomi now, and tonight will also be the Chumash here.